today, Ross Cameron giving away all the secrets, making $94,000 by trading 36,000 shares of the stock that you see pulled up behind me. I'm going to talk about this whole entire move, what went down, how it happened, and how Ross is continuously using his chat room, using his following to pump stocks to make huge profits and then show them off here on YouTube and look like a day trading god. Going to talk about it here in this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, what's going on? We're looking here at LGHL. Now, LGHL was on top of the scanner list this morning. I think it was number two. I talked about it on StockTwits. And obviously, a lot of people were looking at it. It was a lot of new. There was a big pop. It was the top gainer. It went from $3, $3 on pre-market open there at 8 a.m. It rallied up here to 7 it pulled back, found some support there at the fives. It went boom, boom, boom. This is the one minute chart. It went back over six. So looking at Ross's video, Ross talked about how if it regained that six level, he was looking to buy. Now it's one thing to buy a stock pre-market. You know, it's one thing to trade pre-market. We've talked about this before. Trading pre-market, a lot of times the volume can be a little low. You know, overall, it's just hard to read the exact price action pre-market because you just don't have all the information, especially for a stock that's gapping up like this. Now, Ross talked about how he bought at $6. He kept buying, kept buying, kept buying, kept buying all the way to almost, I think he said $7.50, $8. So he's buy, 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 buy for this push all the way up. And he bought 36,000 shares, 36,000 shares shares it's amazing really 36,000 shares right he bought 36,000 shares chasing this move higher and well guess what who else bought with him i'm telling you guys right now who else bought this stock not me i would i would not buy this stock first off cuz i just wouldn't buy it cuz look at this action here right look at this action before ross bought this stock before ross bought this stock Look at the volume here, right? Look at the volume on this stock before Ross started to buy. And this is what is so evident here. The volume on these candles, 39,000, 68,000, 50,000, 60,000, 100,000, 93,000, 45, 50. Yeah, I mean, this candle here, 10,000. This candle here, 55,000. This candle here, 38,000, 20,000. This candle right here, 233,000 volume. That's once Ross started buying there. So we got 233,000 here on this candle. And on this next candle, we have another big spike in volume, obviously. Remember, Ross's chat room, his chat room is delayed, right? The His service or whatever, there's a delay on his buying. So he's buying here at 6 all of his chat room followers are following him as he's buying, 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 pushing this higher, squeezing this higher to get 36,000, guys, 36,000 shares of this stock. He made 90, I don't even know that's not a he made $94,000 off of this move here, off of this move right here as his followers are buying buying they're chasing they're chasing they're chasing and they're chasing this whole move higher and what's even more interesting is look at this once this move has been completed once this two this is two remember this is the one minute chart so this is literally ross buying ross buying his followers buy 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 and guess what happens once ross stops buying once he's got his thirty six thousand shares remember 36,000. He's got his fill, right? He got filled 36,000 shares as this pushed higher. The when I saw that Ross posted a video talking about how he traded LGHL, I was like, "Well, did he go short? When did he even trade that thing?" And when I watched his video, I saw that he traded it at 9 a.m. So I was like, "Oh, he traded a pre-market. The volume was really low pre-market, which it was. The volume was very low, and afterwards, it just got killed. It just got murdered." Just got murdered. It literally just got murdered after that. 
And this right here is a prime, this is textbook. This is, if there was a book out there that had a picture of Ross Cameron and what Ross Cameron does with his chat room, this right here is exactly what Ross does. Now, again, like I always say with all my videos talking about Ross is I love the guy. He's my hero. He's my spirit animal. I want to be the guy. I want to make $94,000 selling to my chat room. I would love for that to happen. I would love to make $100,000 a month selling chat room subscription. I need to, I really need to step on my game here. But this right here, this move, guys, this move is example number 5 million, 5,000 to show you this is what Ross does. This is what his chat room does. He finds these stocks pre-market that are gapping up on the charts that have a little bit of news behind them. He buys, 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 buys and pumps them higher, his delay, his chat room is delayed, his viewers, his followers, his subscribers follow him into the trade. I know Ross says that he does not want anyone to follow him into a trade. I understand that he says that. But if you have a chat room and you say, hey, I'm buying LGHL, don't buy it. Only I'm buying it. I guarantee you that everyone is still going to buy that stock. And that is what is so evident here by looking at this chart. It's one thing when Ross buys and when the market's open, you know, and there's millions of, it's one thing when Ross buys a stock and, you know, there's, there's a overall action during the market hours, but buying a stock like this pre-market that's got low volume, that really doesn't have the action, doesn't have any type of news behind it. Seeing this action right here is pure definition of exactly what Ross Cameron does with his chat room. He is able to buy a stock with very low liquidity. He's able to buy it. He's able to move the price by himself, moving the price higher, chasing the chasing the ask, trying to get filled 36,000 shares. And in return, all of his followers are buying, buying, buying. And the thing just gets crushed. It just got crushed. I, it's, I, you know, and I'm sure people are going to comment below being like, well, I'm a Ross Cameron follower and I was in the chat room. And I bought it with him and I sold it and I made money. But I guarantee that there's a lot of people out there today that end up losing a lot of money on this stock because they bought it here. They didn't take profit. It crushed them at open. They held it. They held it. They held it. And they sold it down here because we all know how it goes when you're a beginner. When you first start out, you buy here at 850 and you sell it down here at 550 because you're hoping you're praying that it goes back up, but it never goes back up, right? It never goes back up because... If you're hoping and you're praying that it goes back up, there's a pretty good chance that it's probably never going to go back up. But for Ross, luckily for Ross, Ross can, I don't even know why I'm drawing so much, but luckily for Ross, Ross can buy at these types of areas. He can buy at these very key areas. He can create his own little squeeze. He can create his own squeeze on a stock just like this, LGHL. I learned it this morning. We talked about it on Stock Twist. Talked about it on Twitter. This is exactly the type of setup that Ross is looking for. Low float, low volume, low action. Let me jump in. Let me create the volume. Let me create the action. Let me get my followers to buy, buy, buy as I'm looking to sell. And I can make $94,000 in one day, boys and girls. And this is the issue. The issue with trading low float stocks, the issue with trading the penny stocks, I get it. It's lucrative. It's awesome. It's amazing, right? You can make so much money. It's so great. Everybody can get rich, rich, rich trading low float stocks. Yeah, I've heard that before. I've not seen it. I know that there's outliers. I know that there are people on Twitter, the people on YouTube that are making millions of dollars every single month. And I know you all are going to comment below about how, you know, so-and-so made this much money. So-and-so made this much money. I get it. I get it that your supreme leaders, your your gurus make tons of money. I understand that. I, and like I said, I wish I made hundreds of thousands of dollars every day, but I don't because I'm living in a, in a, I guess I'm the only YouTuber who's living in reality. Cause when I buy a stock of this, if I would have bought 36,000 shares, if I would like, if I would have bought this 36,000 shares by myself, if I would have woke up this morning and be like, well, today I'm going to, I want to buy 36,000 shares of this company. If I would have done that, like I said, I had the same exact scanner. I saw exactly what Ross saw before this all happened. I was right there. I could have bought this stock, and in hindsight, I could have made $94,000 as well. But instead, looking at this, I was like, I'm not buying that. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell because the volume's not there. There's no action. Why would I buy this stock? And what I can tell you right now, I can tell you guys right now, I've been doing this long enough to know one thing and know one thing only. 
I'm telling you right now, and you can you can say, you can debate me, you can hate me all you want. I'm telling you right now that if Ross would not have bought this stock, if Ross would not have bought this stock right there, there would not be this volume. This volume would not be here if it was not for Ross buying the stock with his chat room. That is a fact. That is a fact, people. That is literally a fact. Because look, look at the volume here. Look at the volume. This thing was done. This move was done. This was done. It was over. This party was not going anywhere until Ross showed up and started buying and buying and buying until it went to the moon. Look at the volume. The volume on this candle, 58,000. The volume here is 26,000. The volume there, 18,000. The volume there, 69. I mean, we didn't have any spikes over 100,000 volume until Ross started buying this thing. Even this move here, not one of these candles. Wait, this candle, 107,000. 107,000 was the highest volume. Look at the volume, right? That was the highest volume until Ross started buying. Ross bought here and Ross bought here, pushing the price up. His chat room started buying as well, pushing the price up. You got to remember, there's four to 5,000 people in Ross's chat room following him into trades, even though he says... I don't tell people to follow. I don't tell people to follow. I don't tell people to follow. They are following him into a trade. And this is a perfect example of exactly what Ross is doing right here. I don't know how this is legal, but it's still happening every single day. And it's, I don't know, it's just happening. I guess it is what it is. You know, like I said, I don't hate the guy. I love the guy. I think it's awesome. I love Ross Cameron. The more that I say I love Ross Cameron, the less chance that I have of getting sued here. So, like I said, more power to him. Congratulations, Ross Cameron, for literally pumping this stock and creating his own money printer. I love it. I love it. It's the American dream. Ross Cameron is living the American dream that he's able to buy a stock, 36,000 shares of a stock that has that's totally a crap, totally a scam, totally just a big fail. He's able to be able to buy 36,000 shares of that company and pump the price up enough that he's able to then sell those shares for $96,000 in profit. So congratulations to my man, the myth, the legend, the supreme leader of all the ginger day traders that there are in the world, Ross Cameron. You did it today, my friend. You did it. You really showed us what you're all about right here with this move. The chart does not lie. The chart does not lie, my friend. So there it is. I expect some type of response from Ross here. Probably a lawyer response, but either way, I'm putting it out there for you guys to see exactly what's going on behind the curtains.